friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this cataract appears like a posterior polar cataract there's a dense opacity with onion hole appearance so in this case i'm going to take all the precautions that should be taken in a posterior polar cataract let us observe the surgery very minutely by this time the main incision has been done Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now this is a side port about two and a half clock hours away on the right side, and this is another side port about three clock hours away on the left side. And now capsulorexis is to be done. In this case, I want to make a rexis of about five millimeter diameter, because if piscirent occurs. I should be able to place the lens on the in the sulcus and do optic capture if the rex is of that size. Capsular axis is being done and it has been a very nice continuous covilinear capsular axis. And now I don't want to do hydro dissection in this case i want to do hydro delineation so i go into the substance of the lens matter in the periphery and inject some bss i go to the other side away from the equator in the substance of the nucleus and then inject some balanced salt solution and now partial hydro delineation has occurred i am not going to rotate this nucleus and i want to manage the nucleus over epinuclear shell over epinuclear cushion heads this is the Echo handpiece, some superficial cortical lens matter has moved. Now the handpiece is turned, it is buried in the substance of the nucleus, and the nucleus is chopped. And now I turn the tip towards 3 o'clock and make another chop. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. Now I turn the tip towards 8 o'clock and make another fragment this free nuclear fragment also removed and now the fragment on the other side is free it is emulsified and removed now a piece is there superiorly at one o'clock it is mobilized brought at the center and emulsified and removed so the nucleus has been very nicely managed over epinuclear shell. Even if piscirent occurs now, no nuclear fragment will drop into the vitreous cavity. Now I am drawing the epinuclear shell very gently using very low vacuum towards the center and I have been able to manage the epinucleus and fortunately there is no posterior capsular rent now before coming out i am injecting viscoelastic substance though it was not necessary in this case so if piscirent occurs always form the entire chamber before coming out inject visco and now the cortical matter from 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock is being removed by the simco cannula so most of the cortical matter from 1 o'clock to 8 o'clock has been removed and now since the side ports are very small in this case, 
I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration through the side ports to remove the cortex from the sub incisional area. Here it is. The cortex from the sub incisional area has been removed. And now this is a bit of hydro polish. The fluid jet is swept over the posterior capsule and the lens fibers get dislodged and the posterior capsule gets nicely polished. Now visco has been injected to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and in this case a multi-piece intraocular lens was selected because there could have been posterior capsular rent and in such cases the main incision is enlarged a bit it is enlarged to about 3 millimeter the main incision was 2.8 millimeter it has been enlarged by 0 0.2 millimeter and now this is sensor multipiece intraocular lens from Abbott Medical Optics. No financial interest. And now let us see how to load this lens. Irrigate it thoroughly. Place the lens over the cartridge. And now hold the lens. Go behind and place the lens in the groove now the flaps are closed and this is placed in the injector this cartridge is placed in the injector and the trailing haptic should come out from the groove like this and now the piston is advanced and the cartridge is placed inside the anterior chamber and then the lens is screwed out. The leading haptic, as the leading haptic comes out, the cartridge is rotated anti clockwise and then some viscoelastic substance is injected over the lens. Then a Macpherson's forceps is taken and the trailing haptic is placed in the capsular bag. Now how to check that the lens is in the capsular bag? Here it is. If you can hook the rexis margin, if you can hook the rexis margin with the Sinsky hook then your lens is in the capsular bag. Now there is lot of viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber and in the capsular bag. I use the Simco cannula 23 gauze to irrigate the anterior chamber go in the behind the lens some white sticky material sticks to the optic of the intraocular lens I flush it out and most of the viscoelastic substance say about 70 to 80 percent viscoelastic substance comes out by the maneuvers of this Simco cannula and now the 
irrigating probe of bimanual IA is taken and the anterior chamber is irrigated then I go behind the eye well and irrigate the capsular bag polish the lens polish the posterior capsule and then finally I use the irrigation and aspiration together all these manoeuvres removes the viscoelastic substance thoroughly and the patients become very very happy followed up this case after four hours anti-chamber is clear there is no corneal edema cornea is crystal clear beta moxifloxacin has been injected now the side ports are being hydrated to close the step wounds and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out by the 23 gauze simco cannula I like to form the anterior chamber with simco in this way and then the integrity of the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage from any site when I mean, I'm satisfied the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.